The problem is that the government were in denial for, for many, many years about the number of GPs. Many in this chamber were warning the Scottish Government they needed to up the recruitment, but they failed to act at the time. So the crisis that we've got in primary care is solely down to the Scottish Government being asleep at the wheel. So what new measures is the Cabinet Secretary going to take? Because there are far too many patients in my constituency that can't even get through on the phone, let alone get an appointment. Cabinet Secretary. Well, I don't agree with his characterisation, and of course the figures would not bear that out. Where Scotland, if I exclude trainee, trainees, has 83 per 100,000, and that is vastly higher than other parts of the UK, not by a small margin, by quite a significant uh, margin. That's a demonstration uh, of the record of our recruitment. I I've given a list of five things that we're already doing, uh, but on top of that, of course, uh, as I've mentioned already, uh, the challenges with access, there's no doubt numbers of, of GPs will play a part in that, I would say to Willie Reddy, but there are things that can be done to improve access to GPs right now. Hence why I've set up the, G the, the, the GP access group, GPs will be part of that, patient representatives will be part of that, and of course, as that group uh, meets and gives me recommendations, I'll make sure Willie Rennie and the rest of Parliament are kept up.